One of the best features on the iPhone is the camera. In this video, I want to share with you how we can add camera functionality to our Swift apps. Coming up next. This video uses Swift 2.0 and the UI Image Picker Controller to access the camera. We're also just looking at taking pictures in this tutorial. We'll look at selecting photos from the photo library in another video. Our app will have a button in Image View, and when the user presses the button, we'll launch a controller to take a picture. If the user takes a picture, we'll display it in the Image View. Taking pictures from the camera can be summed up in four steps. First, we need to see if our app has access to the camera. If the user blocks our app from the camera, we can't take pictures. Second, we need to check if the capture mode is available. What we're doing here is checking to see if we can take pictures or pictures and video, does the device have a front camera, and so on. Third, we set some flags and present the camera view controller to the user. Finally, we need to check if see if we got a picture or if the user selected cancel. If we got an image or the user cancels, we're done. So let's get started with the code. All of the code for this tutorial is going in the view controller, but you probably want a separate class for your camera code. UI image picker controller is in UI kit. There's nothing to add to the imports if we're embedding the image picker in a view controller. However, if you need it in another class, UI kit's where it lives. We'll add a picker for the entire class. You only need one, and there's no point in creating one every time you want to take a picture. Since everything is starting with a button press, let's add our camera behavior to the button press. We'll call the action take picture. First, we need to see if we have access to the camera. We'll call is source type available and pass it the enumerated value camera. Our other choices would be the photo library and the saved photo album. Photo library and saved photo album are exactly what you think. This is if you want to pick an existing photo instead of taking a picture. We'll cover that another time. If we get a pass on this, we'll continue on. Otherwise, we're going to pop up an alert saying we can't access the camera. Okay, let's assume we got a pass. Next, we'll check if the rear camera is available. If we have a rear camera, it's really likely we have a front camera too. And it's pretty likely we can do video and photos and pretty likely we have a flash. This is all assuming we're supporting recent iPhones. If we need to support an older device, we can make other checks like is flash available for camera. We're not gonna check these because the controller won't make these available as choices if they aren't available. If we can launch the UI image picker controller and get access to the rear camera, we'll get everything else for free. So my code just checks the rear camera. If you need more, you'll want to command click on UI image picker controller class name to see other methods that are available to you. All right, we have access to a rear camera. So next we need to set up the UI image picker controller with the flags we want and launch it. I'm setting allow editing to false, source type to camera and capture camera capture mode to photo. Next, we present the controller and we should be able to take pictures. Now, if you're typing along at home, you might notice something when we take pictures. The picture isn't taken. There's more code we need to add. We need to handle cases where the user took the photo and the case where the user canceled. To do this, we need to add two delegates to the UI image picker controller. These are UI image picker controller delegate and UI navigation controller delegate. We don't need to add any methods for the UI navigation controller delegate, but we do need to add a few methods for the UI image picker controller delegate. These are for the two camera user events. We'll set the delegate in the view did load method. The first is did finish picking media with info. In our method, we'll just save the image to the saved photos album. We'll also supply a method to let us know that the image is saved. When we're done, we'll dismiss the view controller. The other method, when the user cancels, in that case, we'll just dismiss the view controller. Finally, we'll do something when we're sure the image was saved. This selector is called from the did finish picking media with info method. In this case, we'll display the image in our image view. If we get an error, we'll print it out. That's it, pretty easy, right? The real gotchas when using the UI image picker controller are forgetting to add the delegates. If we forget to do that, we'll hit our head against the keyboard for a while trying to figure out why our methods aren't called. The other thing to look for is making sure you have access to the camera. If our user says no once, we can't get access to the camera. That's why we want to check for access every time. And if we don't have access, we want to provide a meaningful message telling the user why we really need access to the camera if they want to take pictures with our app. So thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. 
New lessons come out every week, so make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss a video. And liking the videos lets me know what I'm doing right. So if you like this video, and with that, I'll see you in the next tutorial.